One. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to another filming of Big Thunder Marine. We're here at the Speed and Luxury Show for today, and we're going to feature this beautiful panel center council. Before we do, I've got Barbara with us. She's from our business office. We wanted to introduce her today. Many of you watching have dealt with Barbara on the phone and, and just wanted to have you put a face with the name. So, Barbara, thanks for being here this morning. She'll introduce Ed, who's going to go through the boat with you. Thanks, Dad. Good morning, everybody. Hope this um, broadcast finds you happy, healthy, hanging out with your family. Um, this guy hardly needs any introduction. Ed Champion, he's going to take you through the 39NX today. Good morning. I want to run you through the 39NX. Uh, this is a new boat for Fountain about three years ago. So it's a new haul. It was, came off a clean sheet of paper. Uh, this boat has uh, been an amazing boat for Lake of the Ozarks. We've got several running down around the Hyrule Lake. I'm going to start at the back of the boat. I'm going to work you through the, the front of the boat, go over some of the features on the boat, and then we'll go inside. We're going to go through the back of the boat. We'll go through the front. We're going to go through the cabin, which has a great cabin, and we'll go through the helm. And if you have any questions along the way, just let us know and we'll try to answer them as we go. So as, as all Fountain Center Councils go, this boat's set up for uh, triple engines, and this is boat is a triple 400 Verado boat. It also comes with, uh, we can do 350 Verados or 450 racings. Underwater lights are standard. Um, you do have uh, rear dive ladder for access into the boat, along with the uh, dive door. The teardrops on the back of the boat are a nice feature. If you're pulling up to a dock or a restaurant, somewhere on the lake, this is a, a nice feature. It kind of gets you up against the motor and get you close to the dock, be able to get you to the dock and get a rope tied up to the boat. Um, shore power's in the back. You got a rear transom shower and the whole boat is covered in sea deck. To go through the front of the boat, you'll see the sow lines on the side of the boat. Uh, as every fountain is built, you'll see it's, it is a step tall boat. These steps help introduce air to the bottom of the boat, help aerate the bottom of the boat, which are going to help with several things. Everyone thinks of speed, but with speed you get efficiency, and with efficiency you get fuel mileage. So that's another important feature that you see on a fountain. Fountains always had a step tall boat. Reggie came out with it years ago. One of the great, great features of a fountain. Uh, this boat, for Lake of the Ozarks, you have a windless anchor, which is great for coving out. You can run the windless from the helm area or you can run the windlass from up front. All of our fountains, if you're traveling, uh, we've been doing aluminum micro trailers. Micro is one of the best trailers around. And uh, we, we keep them in stock. So if someone does want a boat, you've got a house here, you've got a house in Florida, we can help transport our service department, our, our team can help you uh, keep the boat maintained. And we can also get the boat moved for you. Uh, great feature on the boat is the dive ladder. We're going to uh, walk up the stairs here and come on board. Go over kind of the back of the boat here first. Once we get up into the boat, you'll notice the dive ladder has a nice door on it uh, and actually has a ladder that is built into the floor. The ladder folds out. There's no need to store the boat, the ladder anywhere. The ladder comes out the side and then it's notched. And so that way you can shut the lid as well. The interior comes in two different colors. This is the pecan interior. It's been very popular here at the lake. It also comes in a gray and tan interior. Um, all JL audio equipment. Um, one of the kind of cool features, if you're coming in out of your dock, this puts the nav light, the rear anchor light up and down, which has been out for about three or four years now, which is a really nice feature. So walk up towards the front of the boat. We'll go kind of to the front area. Very popular feature, of course, on a lot of the center consoles and why they become so popular at Lake of the Ozarks is this front lounger. Um, this one's wide enough to almost get three people across it. Uh, you have an armrest here. The, these front uh, lockers can be used for several things. Here at the lake, we use them mainly for coolers, but they can also be used for uh, air fishing if they're, they're aerated. You have in floor storage. You have a place for a ladder. You're, USB hookups on both sides, uh, more storage on, on all sides of the boat, uh, lights on the T-top, you have speaker lights, you have front spreader lights, you have a light bar, so the boat is just full of lights. Let's walk up towards the cabin, we go take a peek at the cabin. 
that's actually a queen size bed that you're seeing in the in the inside of this boat. This boat is set up for air conditioning. It's a inverter system. So it's a 12 volt system. They say you can get about six, eight hours out of it. All the switching's done in here. There's two fuel tanks. You're about 456 gallons of fuel with both tanks. You have a vacuum flush head. And of course that's sea deck as well. You have a sink with a fresh water system. Uh, this boat doesn't have the helm AC. To get the helm AC, you need to go to our 43 on next. But it, the cabin is, uh, it has AC. Moving into the helm area, you'll see this boat's equipped with Simrad equipment. We also have uh, Garmin available if you want, you'd rather have the Garmin equipment. The uh, charts for the Simrad, the engines, there's uh, all these screens can be interchanged. You can kind of set them up and customize them how you'd like to have them. JL Audio, uh, it has joystick. This boat is equipped with joystick. All the lighting is done with bokeh switches and a backlit so that at night you can see the switches. You have a tab uh, buttons here. You can run bow for one. It's all digital throttle and shift. So this is all DTS done. The tab indicators are here. It's push button engine start. Very easy to start the motors. You have a tilt wheel. Lighted cup holders. Uh, we can pull the pull the top speed up here. This boat uh, with the 400s, as you can see, it's running 74 miles an hour at 6,900. So that's that's right where you want to be. That's boat dialed in, of course, from the Fountain Factory by the team down there. Uh, MSRP. You're looking in the on uh, on this boat here. The MSRP on this boat is 6427. Um, as far as the length, it is a 39. LOA, the beam is 11.3. That's a big question with a lot of people connecting to dock space. You're at 16.5 for weight uh, with no fuel, and uh, fuel capacity is 465. So this boat's nicely equipped. It's in our showroom. We've got two available. We also have a uh, 350 boat available. We'd love to do any other videos uh, for you guys. If you have any other questions on any of the boats we have in stock, we're happy to walk through them, do videos for you. If you have questions, send them in. We'll get them answered for you. And we appreciate you coming live from us today and taking time out of your day. We hope your family is safe. And we'll talk to you soon.